right, here we go. We got Woodcrest. We got Strickland Propane. Those are your starting lineups right there. Up first, we've got Cindy McPherson for the Woodcrest All-Stars. Joe Jack pitching for the Strickland Propane. First pitch is strike. That's the way you want to start your games off. Goes inside the uh, Cindy McPherson. Oh, it's a liner right to the first baseman. Dale Gribble is there for the first out of the inning. Next, we've got Tom Dubois coming in. Still looking for that first hit of the season. Let's see if his luck's better this time around than it was last game. So far, so good. Ooh, good rush down to right field. Just, oh, Bobby Hill able to make the catch, though. The third base Next, we got Uncle Ruckus. Hit a big home run in the last game. Right, looking at the 2-0 pitch right here. Ooh, inside. It's up in the count. Oh, and he gets the walk. Joe Jack lost or just couldn't find the zone. Uncle Ruckus as Butch Magnus comes up. He's again looking for that first hit, just like Tom Dubois was. He takes strike one right off the bat. Second pitch, just a little low for ball one. Strike two down the middle. Let's see if Joe Jack can get this strike out. Ooh, almost got him to swing on that one. Ooh, outside as well, full count for Bush Magnus. Ooh, and he got him. Just inside the zone high. Joe Jack gets out of the inning. One, two, three. Next, we've got Hank Hill starting things off for King of the Hill with a pimp named Slickback making his first start of the game or of the season. All right, Hank faces a one-one pitch. Currently batting 500 on the year with just the one RBI, and he pops this one right up the middle, barely missing a pimp named Slickback for the first hit of the game. Up next, we got Lucky Klein Schmidt. He's currently third in the league in RBIs with five. Had a home run in the last game as well. Batting 750. A great first game. Do here. Oh, another hit for Lucky. Fencing Hank Hill up to second base. Go his lovely bride, Luann Flatters, up next. She takes ball one. Ooh, ball two down in the dirt. Two one pitch coming to Luan. He was going to go high. It's... Oh, hit the pitch, and the base is loaded. The Strickland propane is Jeff Boomhau. Comes up. Can really put a hurt on him. Early in this game as a pimp named Slickback just unable to get anything going there on the mound. Going to be a base hit. Should drive in at least one run. And it will. Kirkland Popane takes an early 1-0 lead with Bill Dotrief coming up now. Center fielder is batting 250 so far this season. He takes ball one on the outside. And a 2-0 pitch coming from a pimp named Slickback. Right down the middle is a good pitch. Ooh, and another one. Bill looking a little reluctant up there. Oh, never mind. Crushes this one into left field. They'll bring home one. Got a 2 0 lead. With Dale Gribble coming up. He's looking for his first hit of the season. He crushes this one, but it's just foul. Or super foul, rather. Pimp named Slickback looking rattled already. Two earned runs and four hits here in the first inning without getting an out. His accuracy is all over the place as he almost hit Dale there. That'll make everybody steal. All the runners advance. Another one crosses the plate. Thank you, man. And then he walks Dale just for good measure. That is three batters and three runs. As Joseph Gribble comes up. Number 30. That one goes low for ball one. And low again for ball two. No accuracy here from a pimping slick back at all. He's all over the place. Case in point as he walks in another run. It's now 4 nothing strictly cocaine with John Redcorn coming up. And he 
hits this one nice into right field. That should drive in another one, and it does. Now 5 nothing Strickland. How much longer can you keep a pimping slick back in this game? Number 20. Giving up. We're now in the ninth batter and no outs yet. They've gone through the full lineup. 1-1 one, one pitch coming up to Bobby Hill. Batting 500 on the year with one RBI. Ooh, and there we go. A little light hit down to the first baseman. Turns into a double play, but another run scores, making it 6 nothing for Strickland Propane as Hank Hill comes back up for the second time this inning. Facing a 2-0 pitch here. Just the first strike. He fouls this one off. Pretty bad pitch to swing at, but he saw something he liked. Full count for Hank. Ooh, and he pops this one up. Should be an easy catch. And it is. Uncle Ruckus makes the catch and gets them out of the inning, but not before Strickland Propane puts up six runs. On just now five hits. The first baseman, number we'll kick off the second inning with Jing May for Strickland, batting 250 so far this year. First baseman crushes one deep into center field. Doesn't have it. No, it doesn't. Coach makes the catch right before the warning track. Ed Wensler, the third, looking a little tense. Catcher still looking for his first hit of the season as he takes ball too high. Brushes this one neat, but Hank Hill is there to make the play and gets the second out of the inning. Now batting, yes, we have Riley Freeman baseman, also looking tense. 27. Also looking for that first hit. Ooh, big swing and a miss for strike one. A little inside for ball one. Joe Jack doing a good job putting the ball where he wants it to get these outs. And there you go. Bill makes the catch in center field for the third out. The bottom now of the set with Lucky Kleinschmidt coming up. Number one for one so far today. Ooh, he hit this one good. Got some good work. Gone. Lucky with a home run to kick off the second inning. Popping a monster hit. 450 footer over center field. His second home run of the season. And he gives Strickland Propane a 7 0 lead. Luan comes up. Hopefully she can shake off that hit from earlier. That was off the first pitch she sees. Ooh, that second pitch went way outside. One two pitch coming to the wind. Outside for ball two. Ooh, and she just watches it go by as a pimp meets slick back strikes her out. Next we got Boomhauer. And an RBI single back in the first. Takes ball inside. Ooh, wanted a swing, but it was a little too high. That one looked like it was inside as well, but he took it. That's going to be an easy out for Butch Magnus. Uh, next we got Bill Dotree. He also had a single and an RBI back in the first. Facing a 2-0 pitch here. Good wood on it, gonna pop it into left center, and that'll be a base hit for Bill Dotry. Goes two for two. Got Dale Gribble walked back in the first. First baseman takes strike one. Try to check a swing, but that's gonna be number two. Down in the dirt. And the 2 2 pitch coming from a pimp named Slickback. It's not going to be able to do it, though, as it went right to Riley Freeman for the third out of the inning. So Strickland Propane puts another one on the board and now leads 7 0. As right Robert fielder, Freeman comes up. 16. Right fielder looking for his first hit of the season as well. As he takes strike one low. Joe Jack doing a good job. Can he get a little behind in the count, but he seems to be pulling out of it. They say that he gives up a base hit to Freeman. Hit that one right up the middle for a single. His first of the year. Now we have Betty Von Husen. She's batting 250 so far this year. Whoa, ball way outside. 
Outside again, Joe Jack. What is he doing? Oh, there he goes. Oh, she crushed this one. Does it have the power? Oh, it doesn't. Boomhauer able to run back and make the catch on the warning track, which will send Freeman back to first base to tag up. Now batting, the does have Sidney McPherson. Number 0 for 1 so far today. Takes ball one on the outside. He tries to go for the right to Dale, who makes the catch and then tags Freeman for the double play. Good play on him to end the inning. Kick the third off for Strickland with Joseph Gribble coming up. He walked back in the first to give him his first RBI of the year, but still hasn't got that first hit. 2-1 pitch coming from a pimp named Slickback. That's going to be high for ball three. Oh, good hit, but went right to Uncle Ruckus. No relation. Tosses over to Jing Mei for the first out of the inning. You got the catcher, John Redcorn, coming up. Got a hit back in the first. Let's see if he can repeat that. It takes ball two on the inside. Oh, catcher couldn't make the catch right there. 3-1 pitch coming to Redcorn. Big swing and a miss. Oh, and he ends up getting him walk. He's able to check that swing and get the walk as Bobby Hill comes up. Batting 400 on the year. Big swing and a miss from Bobby for strike one. Looks like a pimp named Slickback's finally starting to get into the game. He's pitching a lot better now, but the damage might have already been done. As he walks another batter. And Hank Hill comes up for his third hit. They're going to take a pimp, named Slick, uh, a pimp named Slick back out of the game, bringing in Bushido Brown. The right-handed reliever coming in and already looking good, throwing some strong balls. Ooh, good pitch there to get Hank to swing. Full count for Hank Hill. Thousands went off to the left. And he walks. Shield Brown walks the bases loaded. With Lucky coming up, that's not the guy you want to see right now. Cracked a huge 450-footer last inning. He's already up in the count, 2 nothing. Foul for strike two. 2-2 two -two pitch coming from Bushido Brown. He's going to fill up the count. Oh, oh no, did he? Oh, he did. That thing is gone. That is a grand slam for Lucky. Lucky Kleinsmith. Another four blast. This time, 470 feet. My God, the power on this man is insane. His third home run this young season in his 10th RBI. This Luan Platter comes up. He's got to be right there and dinks a little, nice little solid hit right into center field. Right over to Shield Brown's head. We have Boomhauer coming up with a man on, or a person on first. Luan. Oh, ball goes wide. Luan's going for second. She just makes under the catch. Or under the tag, rather. Strickland Propane seem to be just having their way with them so far. Woodcrest can't get nothing going. Bushido Brown super rattled at the plate as he walks another batter. Now got runners on first and second for Bill Dotry. He's two for two with a couple of singles today. This is third at bat in three innings. He hits this one up the middle for a base hit as well. Looks like Luan wants to try for home and she got it. She's able to make a round and make it a 12 nothing game for Strickland Propane. They are running away with this. It's a take strike one right there for Dale Gribble. Ooh, wanted to swing at that one but just didn't pull the trigger. 
Oh, he's swinging a miss for the third strike. He is out. Up next is Dribble. Number 30. He walked back in the first. Let's see if he can get on base again here. Ooh, it looks like he will not. Sean Dubois is able to make the catch in center field to end the inning. A Strickland propane on off the bat of Lucky Kleinschmidt put up with five field, runs. Number 46. We now have a 12-0 lead. As Joe Jack starts the pitch to Tom Dubois. Dubois taking a 2-0 pitch here. Oh. Dubois is going to walk. How about it? Up next, the Uncle Ruckus. Number 15. Hey, what's going on, Danny? Hope you're having a good uh, Saturday night. Uncle Ruckus here. Takes strike one right there. A 2-1 pitch coming from Joe Jack. Joe Jack finds it tough to get the strikeouts. He's got one so far tonight, but that's it. Uncle Ruckus grounds this one up, but Joseph able to make the play. Toss it to his dad for the first, I'm sorry, the second out. The short spot, number 23. I'm sorry, you're first out. You're right. I forgot Dubois got on base. As Butch Magnus takes ball two right there. Looking for that first hit of the game, of the season, rather. 3-1 pitch coming to Magnus. I am ready for Halloween. I get to work all day tomorrow. <laughs> Got to work all day tomorrow, then I'm going to come home and just kind of watch some movies, take care of some stuff around the house. So not a whole lot of stuff going on here at the Puppet Compound for Halloween. That's all good. Jing Mei popping this one up into shallow center. Kleinschmidt able to make the catch, throw it over to the third to keep the runners at base. Now batting, Ed wants a little third coming up. 26. Catcher looking a little tense though. Needs to loosen up if he wants to get a hit. Might be putting too much pressure on him to get him the first hit of this game. There it is. He tried. Didn't work as Joe Jack's able to pick it up, throw it over to first for the third out to end that inning. So we head on to the bottom of the fourth. Strickland Copain still leading 12 0. John Redcorn coming up. One way pitch coming to Redcorn. It's gonna be outside. Ball. Ooh. Michelle Brown down in the count early. As Redcorn pops this one up to left field, but uh, Betty Von Hoosen is there for the catch. And next we got Bobby Hill. And Michelle Brown is out of there, and they're throwing in Joe Petto. Let's see what this right handed pitcher can do against these guys. Let's see if he fares any better than the pimp named Slickback and Bushido Brown. So far, not looking so good. As he's down in the count, 3-1 to Bobby Hill. And he walks him. We've been playing 21 instead of 22. Why is that? Up next, we got Hank Hill. Seems like every inning we're saying Hank Hill's name, and that's because we are. This is his fourth at bat in as many innings as he takes ball two low right there. Ooh, ball three low as well. Pedo just can't find the strike zone consistently. A full count for him. Let's see what he does here. Ooh, grounds into a double play. It's one, two. So Pedo gets him out of the inning for the first time this game without Strickland Propane scoring any runs. Now Will this be the turnaround that the Woodcrest All-Stars need? Let's see as Riley Freeman comes up to bat, takes ball one low. Ball two on the inside. That one went right down the middle for the first strike. Good pitch for strike two. 2-2 two -two pitch coming to Riley Freeman. Ooh, that's outside full count now. Let's see if Joe Jack can get that strike out. Can't, but it should be a nice little easy ground to Lucky over the first baseman for the first out of the inning. Now batting, the right fielder. So we got Robert Freeman who had his first single of the season. Last time up. He takes ball one high. All right, the 1-1 one pitch coming from Joe Jack. Let's 
see if he can get the strikeout. Ooh, and he got him swinging for his second strikeout of the game. Now batting the left yeah, Betty Van Hoosen. Number 49. That fielder's 0 for 1 so far tonight. She takes strike one right down the middle. Second pitch is a little bit outside. That third one over the plate. He doesn't throw strikes and she whiffs, so we'll see what happens here. 2-2 pitch coming from Joe Jack. She fouls this one back. Ooh, full count for Betty. She ends up hitting the grounder over to Joseph Gribble to his dad for the third out of the inning. Strickland propane just rolling all over Woodcrest. Only giving up one hit so far. Man. Here comes Lucky, the hero of the game so far with two home runs, including that grand slam. Three for three on the day already. He's up in the count 2-0. Pops this one over to Uncle Ruckus, but won't be able to make it. As Ruckus gets the ball there in time for the out. Next we got Luan Platter. Designated hitter had an RBI last game. Or a, she ended up getting in, uh, scoring a run last inning, or no, uh, back in the third. 2-2 uh, pitch coming to Luan. Likes to strike out. Oh, and she's swinging and missed. Strike three, and she is out. Boomhauer coming up. Number eight. Left fielder scored his first RBI of the season earlier with a walk. Help me get some more numbers right there. He's th up 3 0 in the count. And he ends up getting walked on four straight pitches. Not a good at bat for Pedo. Let's see if he can change his luck around here against Bill Dotry, who's three for three so far tonight. There you go, takes strike one right off the bat. And Bill pops this one into right field, that'll be a base hit. Bill Dotry, four for four tonight. And a killer game as Dale Gribble comes up. Oh for everything this season with a walk. He takes ball one low. Ball too high. I think he's the only player in Strickland that has a tense mojo right now. Good hit, but it's going to go right to the first baseman for that third out. But Dale Kribble still unable to make a hit. As Woodcrest All-Stars, the top of the order coming up for him here. The top of the six with Cindy McPherson, the designated hitter. She takes ball one from Joe Jack. Oh, Joe Jack left that one sitting there. Pearson took it, and she took it long. That is a home run. What Chris All-Stars are on the board after Sydney McPherson hits a 422-footer for her first home run of the season, her second RBI. The center fielder. Woodcrest on the 46. board. There comes Tom Dubois. Cracks this one, that's gonna go foul. Good strike by Joe Jack, at 92 on that fastball. Tried to go again, but Dubois caught it. Popped it right up the middle for a base hit. I believe that's his second hit of the game as Uncle Ruckus comes up. He's 0 for 1 with a walk in there. Pulling Joe Jack and putting in Patch Boomhauer. Let's see what Patch can do here. Coming in for the first time this season. Ruckus pops this one up. He's going to go to the foul territory. But looks like Dale is there to make the catch, and he will. Now batting. Next to Butch Magnus. Number 23. A powerful Butch Magnus looking to get a hit this season. Hasn't got it yet. With Patch Boomhauer. Up, oh, got him to ground out to third. That's the third two. Got the double play. Patch Boomhauer able to make Butch Magnus ground to third with a toss to the second and first for the double play to end the inning. Now here in the bottom of the six, we're starting off with Joseph Gribble. Cracks this one deep into center. That'll be a base hit. I believe that's his first hit of the season for the young Joseph Gribble. We got John Redcorn coming up. One for two so far tonight for the catcher. 
We're gonna pop this one, but it's gonna sail foul for strike one. Ooh, next pitch went inside from Joe Petto. Petto gets that one. The one-two pitch coming. That's gonna go outside. Two-two for Redcorn. Make that three-two. Hit this one. Oh! Bitch Magnus tried to make the catch, but just out of reach. But he ends up getting Joseph Gribble at second base for the second out. I'm sorry, the first out of the inning. Up next, we have Bobby Hill. Let's see what the right fielder can do. Is it over to left field? Just over the reach of Uncle Ruckus. That'll be a base hit. It's a tough play for Uncle Ruckus to make, so can't really hate him too much. Or hate on him, rather, for that. But next, we have Hank Hill. I believe it said one for three so far with a walk. Next strike one right there. He pops this one deep. Will it stay fair? It will. Right in the corner. Betty didn't even know what to do with it as two runs will score. Giving Strickland Propane a 14 to one lead. Here in the bottom of the sixth. They're pulling Joe Petto and putting in flow nominal. Finish up pitching. The ball one down in the dirt to Lucky Kleinschmidt. Lucky just having a phenomenal game. One of the best batters in the league. He's going to pop this one up the middle for his third hit of the game. Yes, yeah, third hit of the game. He is three for four now. No, three for, I'm sorry, four for five as he drives in a run on that double. Here comes Luan Plata. One for three and got hit by a pitch earlier in the game. Let's see if she can bring her hubby home. Oh, she just might have with that hit to left field. Deep left field, too. Lucky rounding third. He's going home as Luan slides into second base. That is an RBI double. For Miss Luan Plata. And Strickland has a 16 to 1 lead. That is the most by any team so far this season. And Luan is caught in a rundown between Butch Magnus and now Flo Nominal. A little more speed, and he ended up tagging her out. Up next, we got Bill Dotri, 4 for 4 with a couple of RBIs. Center fielder takes ball one on the inside. Ball two just goes high. We'll find the zone on that one. 3-1 pitch from low nominal. Bill gets a piece of it, but Uncle Ruck is there to make the catch and end the inning. But not until Strickland puts up another four runs. Now have a 16-1 lead here in the top of the seventh. As Jing May comes up to bat. He takes ball one high. Gets a piece of the second one, but that's going to go super foul. I don't know why Dale ran after it. There was no way he was catching that one. 2 1 pitch here from Patch Boomhauer. That's going to be a strike as well. Ooh, full count for Jing. Pops this one foul over the right hand side. Ooh, tried to catch it with a 99 mile per hour pitch. Goes right past him. With a strikeout. Patch's first so far today. See if he can repeat it against Ed Wensler the third. Swinging a miss by Ed for strike two. Two two pitch coming from Patch. Ooh, got some swinging again. Back to back strikeouts. With Riley Freeman coming up. Second baseman unable to get a hit so far. He takes strike one right off the bat. Gets this one, but it's gonna hit right over to Hank Hill. He makes the easy throw to Dale for the third out of the inning. So a three up, three down for Patch. And we move on to the bottom of the seventh with Dale Gribble now coming up first. 0 for 3 with a walk so far tonight. Zero. Let's see if his luck will change around against Flo Nominal as he takes ball one on the inside and ball two high. Third hit goes right to Butch Magnus, made a good play on it. Tosses it over to Jink for the first out of the inning. Up next, we have Joseph Gribble. Flo Nominal is out of here. They're bringing in Fleece Johnson to pitch. If the closing pitcher can have any 
any luck against these Strickland propane batters. And now the 1-1 pitch. Oh, got uh, Joseph to pop up just in the foul area. Jing Mei makes the catch for the second out. The catcher, have John Redcorn coming up. Let's see what the catcher can do here. He pops this one up right up the middle, but Riley Freeman able to make the play and get the out. But Felice Johnson comes in and gets two quick outs. No damage done on the now board. Then, the right fielder, and we got Robert Freeman starting 16. off the eighth inning for the Woodcrest All-Stars. He will foul the first pitch off. Takes the second pitch up high for ball one. One two pitch coming to Freeman. He'll foul this one off as well. Ooh, hits this one up right up the middle. I'm surprised it didn't hit Patch. That'll be a base hit for uh, sorry for Woodcrest. As Betty Von Husen comes up next. Fouls off the first pitch. And strike two right down the middle. Blumauer looking for that third strikeout so far the night. And he gets Spetty swinging. That strikeout. Next we got Cindy McPherson who put him on the who put Woodcrest on the board earlier with that 422 foot home run. She starts things off with a foul ball as well. Pop this one into play, but Lucky making a great jumping catch for the out. The center fielder, number Next, we have Tom Dubois. Center fielder got a hit earlier. He takes strike one right there. That looked a little low to me, but I guess they're going to call it. 1-1 one, one pitch coming from Boomhauer. That's going to be outside for ball two. And ball three, Tom Dubois looking good. As he gets the full count here, though. Oh, and he takes it. Good bat for Tom now Dubois just being patient. Number 15. As Uncle Ruckus comes up. Let's see if the third baseman can keep this inning alive for Woodcrest. They're running out of outs. Only four left. And a whole lot of runs to make up. Up. 3-1 pitch coming from Patch Boomhauer. Uncle Ruckus swings on it, gets very bad contact, and Hank Hill makes the catch to end the inning. Move on to the bottom of the eighth with Bobby Hill, Hank Hill, and Lucky Kleinschmidt coming up. Bobby so far 1-2 for two with a couple of walks. Batting 500 though this year, and he got a piece of that one. I don't think it's going to have enough. It will not as Tom Dubois makes the catch at the warning track for the first out. Next, we got Hank Hill, who's two for four with a double and a single so far. Takes ball one low from Felice Johnson. Felice gets him to pop up into right in the middle of the infield with an easy catch. That's two quick outs, and now we have Lucky Kleinschmidt coming up. He has a triple away from hitting for the cycle. Take strike one right there. He'll hit the ultra cycle if he could have got that triple. Got a single, a double, triple. He got, so far, he had a single, a double, a home run, and a grand slam, but he was unable to get on base there. That's a now quick that three up, three down for Felice. And now we are three outs away for Woodcrest. Butch Magnus coming up first. Let's see if he can get something going. So far, so good. He's up 2 0 in the count. Tries to check his swing, didn't quite work out. It's a base hit here, though, or to left field. There we go. His motor goes up a little bit. Now batting. Up next, the we got Gene May. Over three 15. so far today. They're pulling bad Patch Boomhauer and putting in David Kaliki Ali. Surprising and bringing the closer, but hey, you never know what the, uh, what the coaches are thinking. It worked there though as he pops him up. Dale able to make the catch for the first out. Which Magnus able to get back. Number 26. To avoid the double play as Ed Wensler the third comes up. Whipcrest down to the last two outs. You know he's worried about that double play. 
That ain't gonna happen right now as he pops this one deep in the left field, but not enough on it. As Boomhauer able to make the catch and Butch, Mag Butch Magnus has to go back to first. Woodcrest facing two outs already. Has Number Riley Freeman, and he has no contact right now. This man is rattled as he takes strike one right there. Liki no. Ali, the flying Hawaiian, looking to end this game quick at, with that second strike right there. He is a strikeout master. And there proved it right there with a 96 mile per hour ball. That'll end the game. The Strickland Propane getting a huge, huge win 16 to 1. Woodcrest didn't have a chance after that first inning. They went through the entire lineup. Hank Hill actually batted twice in that very first inning, and that's all they needed. For home runs, over on the Woodcrest side, we had Sidney McPherson hitting the solo home run. And over on Strickland Propane side, Lucky Kleinsmith hit both of the home runs for, for the King of the Hillers, one of which being a grand slam. The losing pitcher is going to be a pimp named Slickback. He only pitched 2.1 innings but gave up 7 hits, 8 earned runs. He walked 4 batters, had a strikeout, and gave up a home run. An ERA of 30.86. My God. The winning pitcher will be Joe Jack. Pitched 5 innings, gave up 3 hits, 1 earned run. Walked 3 batters, got a couple of strikeouts, gave up that big home run to Sidney McPherson. And also gets his first win of the game of the season, my apologies. The three stars of the game, three is gonna be Bill Dotry, four for five with a couple of RBIs. Hank Kill gets the second star, with two for five, the double and a couple of RBIs. And there was no doubt about it, your first star of the game, the big lucky Kleinschmidt, four for six, two home runs, including a grand slam, a double, a total of six RBIs for lucky.